flat like it just fits right uh, and I could shake around I could move around you see <laughs> sorry Hi you guys, I hope all is well. Yes, I'm back. Sorry I keep popping in and out of my YouTube channel. For those that follow me on Instagram, knows that right now I'm actually in the preparation of my wedding. So I have been like extremely busy. But um, like you guys know, I share because I care. And especially being... <laughs> soon to be bright on a budget so I'm really just really like chipping out on my hair you know last time um, the last video the last video that I did I put the, the weave was 99 this one was 7.99 so um, I pretty much made a wig uh, using the I think her name is Avi Deer uh, the signature flip method this is, isn't really a tutorial, but I'm kind of somehow going to walk you guys through when I don't come up with the, the hairstyle method. I like to give credit to the person that did it. So I will put the, her video below, the main video that I used to make this video, that inspired me to make this video. And you guys could check out the full tutorial. She has plenty of tutorials. Um, of that method with different type of hair and I the fact that I'm natural and it's really hard for me to have I have not yet mastered the closure theory I feel like this um, will probably be my go-to hairstyle because the flip method the reason why it's called the flip method because you could pretty much part it any other any kind of ways that you like any kind of way that you please Right now, I can't part it any kind of way because I don't really have a mirror, but you get the method. You could part it any way you want. You could part it. You could have it in the front. You could flip it in the back. Pretty much, this is how it works. And uh, I think it's a great concept for those that have like, you know, their hair nicely laid um, in the front. They could actually put gel. My hair is kinky. I am all the last texture in the in the hair category 4c i guess so it's really hard for me to blend uh, with gel unless i put like some type of silk scarf and every day i don't have time for that but it turns out that this method i don't really need to put gel look at this i don't really need to put gel but it still kind of have that natural natural effect um i've done many many and uh, not many 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 will come down I did like three videos of um, of um, wig, making ways using hair glue, so that's the same method. That's the same theory I use for this one. So I use my my mannequin head. It's like practically dying because somebody destroyed it for me. Um, which that's fine. I'm just gonna get another one. I'm also gonna put a video below on how to kind of shape your mannequin head to have the exact same size as your own head so i will also put that video below of a youtuber uh, where i got this idea of making it or if you want the next time i'm making um this head you guys i could make a tutorial because i need to make a new one this one is broken like it's just pretty much destroyed so i do have to make a new one so the cap that i use like 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 all my 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 wig is the domain cap and then I use a uh, glue gun which you could purchase this at any craft store um, dollar store Walmart you can find it anywhere um, the hair that I used it's called the it's called the Klimek weave I don't know can you see that can you see that can you see that okay I use the Klimek it's called Klim Klimex Klimex weave um, is uh, and the style called new bohemian curl and the length is 16 i'm 5'9 so this is pretty long for me as well it feels more like an 18 than 16 um and the color i mixed it like you guys know i don't always mm, i don't like to take jet black or 1b so i mixed both of them so i took about a total of four pack um of this and I only ending up using two and a half 
Uh, so I still have um, how many packs did I have? Yeah, I I yeah, I only used two, two and a half. No, I bought five pack because it was on sale. I bought it for $7.99. So I knew I'm only using two and a half. So I technically have two more and yeah. Yeah, I still have two and a half. So I could actually make another wig roll, which is awesome because your homegirl, you know, your homegirl can can be rather the ball hair right now, you know. So if I have more hair, <laughs> I'm just gonna work around it until August because I need all the penny I can get, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Anyway, this is the hair that I use. Um, the theory is pretty simple. So just like when you do, um, just so what I did, I placed my my uh, my cap in my mannequin head, and then I parted. So I parted. Um, I took a really visible um, visible crown if you want to say and then I just put the cap into my head and I measure the corner of my eye where does my eye end and I pretty much made a U part like literally I traced the U part into the mannequin and I pretty much weaved around it just like you will do a U part wig I just weaved around around and round and I'm gonna show you guys the final result pretty much how it you looks after I finish pretty much weaving around the mannequin so that's how pretty much how it looks and then from then what I did instead of I think it'll be best for me to demonstrate this okay <laughs> let me just open the mannequin so let's just pretend that my the corner of my eye stops here, here, and here, right? So, and then this is the center of my head. So this is what I did. I put a point here, I put a corner here, and I just joined them. Okay, so I just joined the lines like this, right? So can you see that? So what I did, you see this, this is just like a U part. And all I did is weave from here to this corner, back and forth, until I reached to the center line, okay? So that's why I'm gonna show you guys the video, how it looks after I did, all I did was back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The weave does now come like the regular weave. I don't know if that makes sense. It kind of come already pre-cut. I guess that's why it was on sale. Um, but they kind of come, it comes pre-cut. Like it's already cut it for you. So all I did, it was just like, just like if you're about to glue your hair, you would just, you know, place it here and keep going and keep going and keep going all the way to the end. So, um, this hair didn't really give me the option of doing the flip over on uh, the the kind of the the double f which you go from the end and then you flip it to the end to the end so i wasn't able to do that so at some at some of the part i did have to cut it um i don't know if that does that make sense i i'm, I'm not making any sense right now am i am i am i <laughs> Once I finish doing the U part, I was done. Now that's where the flip method comes in. So at this moment, if you guys watched a lot of invisible part, um, invisible part tutorial, it's pretty much the same concept. But instead of doing it from the front and go all the way up, you're doing it from the side. So it's pretty much the invisible perm method but instead of doing from the hairline to up you're doing it from the side so from this side you see how the line starts from here so I'm doing this side and just going straight 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 across
all the way till the end there's no space between them like they are so close to each other I'm just gonna demonstrate very close to each other all the way to the end when I say really close like you cannot see just like the, the like I said the invisible part what you would do you will measure you will measure right and then you will cut put the glue and glue it and then the same thing you will measure cut and glue and put the same thing and then you do that pretty much just straight across straight across straight across straight across all the way to the end Um, and that's pretty much it it's really straightforward it's I really don't feel like I needed to do a tutorial to be honest and that's pretty much it this is I'm going on my third week um, with this hair somebody messaged me about synthetic um, personally I always feel like in terms of maintaining uh, curls synthetic hair it's always easier it's always easier to maintain but in terms of long long term obviously human hair is always better but if you want a hair that could last you for three weeks and uh, that won't give you any stress and you want curly my personal advice will be go with synthetic it's only gonna last you three weeks and you won't it won't even it won't even feel like you're doing any work this I pretty much I just wake up put it like a hat and I go and I actually put pins See, I put pins inside my, my wig, which I just pin it. I have, I have one in the back and one in the front. And like I said, the mannequin, it's, it's the exact same size as my head. So this literally fits like a hat. Like it just fits right. Uh, and I could shake around, I could move around, you see? <laughs> Sorry. I could move around and it doesn't fall off. So. Um, I'm just gonna show a video when everything was done, how it looked. Um, and then I pretty much just went and we shaped it based on my own liking. And this is pretty much it. Um, I do want to give some tips that while you're weaving, while you're putting the glue, they're gonna come at some part where the um, the white glue section, like the glue, would show. Um, so what you could do is just take any mascara that you have um, and pretty much uh, just place it around where the white areas is showing. Let me sh let me demonstrate one. Let me see if I could have one here. Oh, there you go. So you see this? This is a wet section. So you could just take this and do this. You see that? So it pretty much just kind of colors it. I don't know if that makes sense. So to avoid that from happening, you could just color that. And if it's showing, um, that's another option that you could do. And this is pretty much 
this has pretty much been my go-to hair and like I said I'm going to to my third week this is my the second week is finished I'm going to my third week and uh, in terms of maintaining it like I told you guys I don't really put anything to it um, I don't really put anything if I feel like I need more body you guys know this big tooth comb it's my go-to and all I do I just um, I just comb it out and that's what I do because it's synthetic um, the reason why you put product in curly hair because it's one you want to have more definition into the curl and um, I don't really need that I don't really need that and because it's synthetic and I have extremely sensitive skin so I refer myself on putting product just to avoid any breakout in my face and literally I go to work as soon as I come back it's off my head and um, sometimes I don't even wear it to work so it's mm, it didn't really require for me to put product so so far of course once I was done to remove that weave scent all I did I just took my favorite conditioner and I apply it into the hair so it could just have a nice smell but that was pretty it and that's that that's all that's all oh, like I always tell you guys I share because I share because I care and I hope this was able to help someone in any shape and form if you guys have any questions please feel free to write below follow me on my social media accounts they all be linked below and uh, thank you for my uh, watching god bless bisous bye